Well, to me, it does not say much about the referees whether it was fair or not i don't know i have no idea it's not for me to judge but it says more about Terginataman to me actually to be honest of course um the showmanship with this i won the cup and everything was entertaining however when i see a coach that cannot control himself do I trust him to control a group of individuals? I know Dolph is struggling this season. Yeah, they're not where they're supposed to be as Euroleague champions with with this roster. Um, and uh, Ergen Ataman is constantly losing his temper. Free ejections, practices during Christmas time. Um, I don't know, maybe it's the old Ataman? Not the new one we got used to in recent years when Anadol Efes were winning everything. So really, you can have an opinion whether it was fair or not to eject him from this game, but I just see a man that's not controlling his emotions. Yeah, that says he's, a lot he's, about... He's losing it, so how can he control the team? That says a lot about current uh, FS situation. Uh, it seems like he's losing the control of the team, but at the same time, Probably you can trust the guy. I mean, he he coached this team for for a few years uh, successfully. I mean, he won the Euroleague with, with this group of guys. They were dominating in the Euroleague uh, past uh, couple of years. But the fact that he's losing control right now, it shows that something is wrong inside the team uh, as well. And also, the third eject ejection in one season in actually three months says a lot about his assistant coaches and that uh, Atama needs some protection like Shailunas Hezekiewicz has on his bench. Darius Moskalunas, well-known bodyguard, not just a uh, assistant coach, but also he probably he's paid as, as a bodyguard for, for Sharas. And uh, Jakub Sekiskok, it seems like he's a very good guy, a very nice, very polite guy, but they need but they need some bodies uh, on the bench to control Atama if he, doesn't, he cannot control himself. Although... Yeah, the problem was that we didn't have a clear re replay. For example, in, in the previous game, uh, FS Barca, we kind of saw what happened and we discussed that it was not that fair uh, to throw out the coach in, in that uh, kind of uh, situation under these circumstances. Right now, from what I saw, I wouldn't throw him out unless something between all these replays, what we didn't see happen. Although I would be really surprised if something was extraordinary because we kind of saw the end of uh, Ataman rant and the very 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 beginner beginner beginning later in the game because it probably it was after three quarters that when they um, showed the replay of like first reactions of Ataman after uh, Dunstan's uh, foul and it didn't look like you know sometimes coaches just start running uh, on the court uh, and, and complaining about everything it didn't look that bad. So I think that Ataman was surprised by him uh, by himself also that he was uh, thrown out because I'm not so sure. I just saw coach but asking why. But you why. don't know the language. You don't know the language, what he said. Yeah, yeah. What he said to referee. I mean, you can say a lot of nasty things uh, and the referee has the right to give you a technical foul. And if after that you're still saying stuff, you can definitely get the second consecutive technical. But for example, if so. you're asking all the time why, 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 in a kind of emotional manner, is it worth the ejection? Well, not, no, but I mean, how do we know if that's all he said? Yeah, I understand your point, but we don't know if he said anything. Because we have some I mean, reasons <sighs> to be uh, unsure, because in the previous game, it was not worth it, I mean, to throw out him uh, off the court. Well, I think that the truth is somewhere in between because one thing is, of course, that now Ataman has this reputation. So for the referees, um, it's easier to eject him than any other coach because, well, uh, you understand that this is Ergen Ataman. He loses his temper. It happened already three times this season. So it's kind of easier to give these two technicals to him because you, you're kind of prepared mentally before the game, if you're the ref, that Ataman will be there uh, mentally attacking you with his remarks uh, and everything else. Uh, at the same time, another thing is that uh, there's a very popular narrative and it's a very easy position to take, even for me, to be safe, uh, to not be criticized to talk about bad refereeing and usually to talk about how the refs are favoring the Spanish clubs, Real Madrid and Barcelona. This is the narrative. This is what everyone's talking about uh, in Turkey, in Greece. Everyone's talking, ah, it's Jordi Bartomeu's league, ah, it's Barcelona and, and Real Madrid. Mafia and yeah. 
Listen, in this game, Vasa Mitic got 15 free throws. Anadolf has had 33 free throws. I don't see how you can cry about refereeing and say that refs were... But we're not crying about refereeing in general. So, so we're, we're not crying, crying about the specific situation at the beginning but, of the third but quarter. But I'm, I'm talking about the build-up to this whole situation. Uh -huh. Why Ataman is frustrated, why he gets to technicals, why he attacks the referee in the middle of the third quarter. Because if he himself believes that the refs are unfair always in favor of Barcelona when they're playing against them, this is what you get. In my opinion, I mean, the mistakes were made, mistakes are made in almost every game. It's not for me to judge the quality of the referees. I'm not an expert in refereeing, but I don't see any unfair referees decisions in these games, Barcelona and Adol Efes. No, 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 I, did, I, did, I didn't either. So, so, but my only Ergen concern Ataman is that if you, cannot, if you can throw out the co uh, coach out of the game, the beginning of the third quarter, for that what we saw. I mean, I saw way bigger things before and coaches were not ejected, for example. So maybe it's also because of Ataman's history. Maybe he has a very bad reputation among the referees because maybe before, uh, during the games, during the season, he was he was saying something, he was doing something very unprofessional. Maybe it's, it's because of that. I don't know. But I saw just, I just saw bigger things. Uh, and coaches weren't thrown I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, Sharas, you can take Sharas. A lot of situations uh, where he wasn't thrown out of the game. Although he's, sometimes he's even more emotional. But, but it's not only about emotions, it's about the language. You can be emotional with the referees. Um, they know it. They tolerate it to some degree. But it's about the language. If you're offending people, if you're abusing people, you're getting technical fouls.